Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Wilson, for coming today. Uh, clearly, reducing cost and, and at the same time improving quality of service is uh, a goal we all share and um, I don't believe are incompatible. Uh, you had mentioned that there is a 26 percent average savings. Did you mean that for the beneficiary or for the government or so in, in totality? Uh, I meant for both. So compared to what Medicare currently pays under the fee schedule, which has been in place for about 23 years or so, uh, prices under competitive bidding are on average 26 percent less. So Medicare will be paying less and beneficiaries our most vulnerable population of elders, seniors, that, uh, that pay 20% uh, coinsurance on that price will also be paying less. I think it would be helpful to return to uh, one of the questions that my colleague, uh, Chairman Schuler had raised regarding quality of service and unpack that a little bit further. Is uh, distance for a beneficiary to travel to a provider a part of the quality service measure? Well. It's, it's not part of the quality of service measure. Um, it's an interesting question because I think in this, in, in this industry, and if you look at the items that we bid, most of these items are delivered by truck or van uh, or, or by the supplier in some way. And so if you, think about, if you think about a wheelchair or a hospital bed or oxygen, those are suppliers that are responsible for delivery and set up and come out to the beneficiary. This is an in-the-home benefit. By statute, it's in the home, and so suppliers so that would out tend to, the to take care of itself. That right. And, and I would say that for diabetic supplies, we did um, not include uh, storefront diabetic test strips in competitive bidding so that beneficiaries would have an opportunity to still be able to get their drugs and their diabetic supplies in the same place, it's community pharmacies. The 30% uh, target of contracts to small suppliers, uh, why don't we define a small supplier? Uh, it is, we worked with SBA on this, and in fact, this was recommended by, by, this, uh, by this committee that we take a more targeted approach uh, in the comments to the rule, a more targeted approach in our definition of a small supplier. So rather than look at a small business, which under SBA rules at the time was six million moving to six and a half, we relied on comments to establish a standard at three and a half million, so about half half of the uh, SBA standard for a small business, because we felt that was more in line with the relative size in terms of uh, uh, receipts, dollar receipts of this industry, and then then of course we established the policies that I mentioned around that new definition. Now, one of the issue, other issues regarding uh, definition of quality. In, in, is to ensure that a potential beneficiary might have not have to deal with multiple locations to obtain uh, the, the sets of products that, that they would need for various complications. Is that a part of the quality assurance measure as well? Well, it's not a part of the quality standards. I think, you're, I think what you're referring to, sir, is uh, how we designed the bid process how we design the product categories. So a supplier's bid on product categories, wheelchairs versus hospital beds. So a beneficiary who needs both may have to go to two suppliers. You're absolutely correct. The reason we did it that way was out of a concern for small suppliers. We didn't want to have the, the product grouping so large that a small business that only focused on one or two groups couldn't bid for this broader array of services. So it was sort of a balancing act between uh, a beneficiary issue and a small supplier issue that we dealt with through rulemaking. I see. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is questions I have for now.